I'm Josh Beckwith, and I'm going to teach you how to make this slinky cheeks effect in Spark AR. Um, so if you look on the left panel, you just see a bunch of base meshes. Um, and when I move my head, you'll notice that uh, actually I got to select that one. You'll see that it's dragging behind where my face's actual position is. Um, so I know this patch graph might look a little intimidating, but there's really only a couple of things going on. Um, I'm going to kind of step through um, what we have here uh, already, um, and then I'm going to delete all of it, and we're going to make it from scratch. Um, so first we need the, the face position, so we get that from the um, basically by just dragging the face tracker in here and then using, so we're, we're doing rotation and position um, just so it matches up with the face. The rotation, I didn't notice um, any difference when I animated that value, so it's just one-to-one. -one. All of the, the face meshes are tied to the face tracker's rotation one-to-one. Um, -one. But then for the positions, this is where the magic happens. Um, so we, we have an um, um, exponential smoothing patch for that. Uh, if we dig into here, we can see it's the input is the 3D position. Um, so we get X, Y, and Z. <clears throat> and then the exponential smoothing doesn't accept um, vector threes. So we have to split it out into X, Y, and Z apply the smoothing, and then repack it into uh, Vector3. So nothing crazy. Um, and then it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll, I'll turn off all of these, except for one. Um, so you can see just my nose over here. Um, and so that's just the, the extracted face t texture from here um, with a mask on it. So it's a very small, like circular mask. Um, and that is made by this patch group, which is just an SDF circle, which is smoothed out and then applied as an alpha in the mix. Um, so pretty simple. Um, and then the input is a radius. I don't know if I'm going to end up doing this, but, um, for convenience sake, I, I had an input. I think I might skip that part just for, for time's sake. Um, but you can, you can totally rig up all of this if you want. I, I made some, some stuff here just so it'd be easy to, to change numbers and like experiment with different values. Um, so I'm going to turn all these back on and then show you like if I go to 0.3, pretty different effect. It's just like a wobbly nose, which could be cool. Go even lower, more constrained to the nose. So pretty fun effect, um, pretty simple. Um, so now I think that's all there is. So I'm just going to actually delete all of this stuff and then remake it from scratch. Let's uh, test my memory. Get rid of this too. Um, so step one. Just add a face tracker, face mesh. Um, I guess I'll delete. Actually, I'll, I'll keep one of these around just in case I forget what's in there. Actually, I'll keep the Expo 3D patch too, because it's not like a 
a crazy thing to make. I don't think there's any more explaining that needs to happen there. So, um, so we have our first face mesh, our face tracker. Uh, we definitely need to get the texture from the face. Um, so this is going to be used as the mask. So it's going to be eventually the alpha channel. So we'll pipe RGB into um, the pack. Um, so we're going to do a little trick. We're just going to reuse this for now. Um, you can actually set this to vector two. Why is it mad? Uh, restart. Okay, well, usually you can use a... Oh, is it because the output is... Vector 2? Maybe try that as a number. Okay, um, I'm just gonna start from scratch completely. So we have this face tracker. Um, we want to apply an alpha. We're gonna make a uh, material on this. Um, it's gonna be flat. We don't need any lighting. And then we pipe the texture in. So. One to one, you can see my face. That's great. Um, so we're going to make a mask that covers, we're going to start small. Um, so we're going to go with the nose. Um, so to do that, we're going to use SDF circle. And actually, I'm going to use this um, as kind of the output for the SDF. Um, so you'll, you'll see that the, the circle doesn't do anything by itself. You have to kind of tweak it. Um, so I think first we want um, smooth step. And that's just going to make a, a gradient um, from 0 to 1. Right in that work. Uh, because you have to mix it with an actual value. And this is going to be the alpha. And we're going to start at 1 and go to 0. Why didn't that work? OK, that's because we need to pack this. Um, so we're going to make it, um, we'll try this again, actually, because this should work. You just pipe in RGB and then your alpha value. Yeah, I don't know. It, it works this time. Um, so it still looks the same. It's like same face. Um, so I think radius just needs to be like pretty low. Maybe just try zero. Um, 0.5. Okay, now, so we're getting somewhere. I always do this, like, every time I use uh, SDF. It's just, like, plug stuff together, and, you know, eventually it'll work. There we go. That's actually what we're going after. So, um, I'm not totally sure. This doesn't really make sense to me. The radius can be zero, and you still end up with something. But I think that's kind of negated in the smooth step um, because it, it tweens the value um, between zero and one. So if you start at zero, then it goes to the edge max. That seems to make sense. Um, that's about a quarter of the width, so uh, yeah. So that's um, the basics behind 
um, damasking. But you'll notice that uh, this is still, it's tied to my face, like, exactly. Um, so to make it drag behind my face, we have to actually pull it out of the face tracker, pull the face mesh out of the face tracker. Um, put it in camera. Well, that's not what I wanted. So if I zoom out here, you should be able to see it somewhere. Ah, there it is. Yeah, so it's at the, the origin of the camera, um, and it's backwards. Yeah. Um, so first of all, like you'll notice rotation is wrong and the position is wrong. So you need to fix both of those things. Um, and we do that, the face, face mesh. Um, we're gonna pipe in position and rotation. So for position, we're gonna hook that into the Expo 3D um, just for smoothing values. Um, and that's what will cause the kind of delay between um, the actual position and the, um, the face mesh. Uh, so we get the actual position of the face mesh from the face tracker. You can just drag that into the patch editor and then you get 3D position. Uh, so rotation is still wrong though, so it's going to be like reversed. Um, and because it's double-sided, we can't see it. So we're going to flip it around and mirror the rotation of my face. Um, so similar approach, you just pipe in the rotation and then get that value from here. And it does not work. So let's see what's going on. Huh. So maybe, maybe I actually need this to be in camera. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, so you can see that it's like the smoothing is working. It's not staying exactly tied to my face. Oh, I guess you can see it better here. Um, so it kind of drags behind. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then um, make, make more layers. Um, we'll increase the like smoothness of the effect and, and you just keep adding layers until you get that uh, smoothness that we started with. Um, I think, I mean, that's all the basics. So I'm, I'm just going to leave you guys with that and see what you can do. Um, I do want to say like, there's no absolute need to use SDF here. You can, um, supply your own mask textures. So you can do all, all sorts of like weird complex cuts on the face and then like have, you know, a bunch of layers um, of different kinds of cuts. Uh, so you can get some really cool effects that way. Um, so yeah, have fun with this. Um, the project is going to be up on GitHub. Uh, it already is actually. Um, so Spark AR or um, Posit Labs Spark Slinky Cheeks. Um, if you enjoy my content, um, please hit the sponsor button. Give me a couple bucks a month. Helps me uh, pay the bills. Um, yeah, and as always, if you like the tutorials, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. Um, I'll be posting a lot more tutorials uh, very soon. I think I should have um, three coming up in the next week. So... Look out for those. I'll see you next time.